hi guys welcome back to this is a sign in this video i'll be teaching you guys how to create this vhs effect right here on blender i am going to show you guys how to create two different types of vhs effects which is what you're seeing here in this intro if you want to learn how to make this keep watching the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create your animation on blender and render that out for future reference you don't have to use an animation from blender you can use a regular video that you took on your phone or anything like that as well this is what the video ended up looking like as you can see it looks still pretty good it's just not giving us the full y2k vhs aesthetic that we're looking for so the key to this vhs effect are these um already pre-made blender files that are free to use that i found um, from artists that made it before they use the compositing tab right here on blender but it's a lot of node work and we want to skip all that work and just get to the results right so i'm going to go ahead and put up on the screen the artist who made this as well as link the files in the bio so when you open the file it's going to look like how it previously looked and we're also going to have to import the our, our animation into that node as you can see here it'll give you instant results and within this um, node you can adjust some of the settings like the streaks and um, the aspect ratio before you render out just adjust your output properties select the file that you want your animation to show up in and also adjust a uh, number of frames so my frame I know my video was 180 frames so that's what i did if you don't know how many frames your video is like for example you just got a random video from like youtube or something just put a really high number and then that'll you know frame uh render out your whole entire video so there is a secondary file vhs file that gives you a slightly different vhs look i feel like this one is more is a lot less saturated and it just gives you a different look um, I'll also link that one below and put the name of the artist here on the screen and for this one you do have to upload the video twice and you have to adjust the offset so for the first one the offset is zero and for the second one the offset would be one also make sure you adjust the frames to however many frames your animation is and also adjust the output properties render that out as you can see you will be able to achieve these two different looking vhs effects right here on blender if you learned something new today and you're enjoying my content i would really appreciate if you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one